नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो सम्मासंबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो सम्मासंबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो सम्मासंबुद्धस् So dear Dharma friends, so in the beginning, keep relax your body and we're going to develop a tranquility meditation. So from there we go to Vipassana. So always remember and sometimes there are some teachings directly once you practice yourself directly you can go to vipassana level of meditation but here we trying to to bring our mind to tranquility state in the beginning and uh, step by step we go towards it so when we when it come to tranquility meditation important thing we don't practice meditation to stay as a meditator so that's mean we don't practice meditation to stay with meditation you practice meditation especially tranquility state meditation to get into vipassana so don't have an intention to settle down with the the whatever the comfort or the the peace that you achieve the physically or mentally both so always remember it is necessary but our purpose is using that comfort get into wisdom so when it come to wisdom path that the wisdom means not what we think that is the other thing and when it come to vipassana so it with the wisdom means not what in our head not something related with the thoughts so in very very nature of the vipassana level of meditation it cannot have a point of view or point of reference so the, if it is so it always going to be end with some result remember that if if whatever the the patris you do if it is related with the point of view or point of reference it always going to end with something if it is end with something it is condition so it that the if it is conditions it is impermanent if it is impermanent that is no truth so ultimate truth means you getting out of that everything so this is a this is a kind of a understanding you have to have it's like uh, in the samatha level we have a kind of like intention little by little observing recognizing allowing settle down our body mind to one point but when it come to vipassana level observation you cannot have a goal you cannot have a aim thinking i going to get this i going to get this like that so you have to release that everything and get out of that all so that is why when it come to five aggregates rather than building up by task aggregate so you should 
open it. So when you say gate, you know it is a blockage, it's a blocking something. So once you see form, if you take it as a form, what is the difference? How are you going to open the gate? You have to see when you see the form as inhalation, exhalation, or the any sound, feeling, sensation, anything. So whatever come as a form, appear as a form through the perception. If you take it as a form, it always going to become an aggregate. It always going to become a hindrance. So then when you see that you see mean, you don't see it as, uh, as it is. That is okay in the Samatha level. You see as it is. But in Vipassana, seeing as it is doesn't work. What's the point? So seeing the pin as the pin, how it going to take me to liberation? See the pin as it is in Vipassana level, not going to work. So then I have to see in the Vipassana level, how this come to be as, the, as disease. How this became a pain like this? So it's kind of like a reverse mechanism. It's kind of like a deconstructing what the whatever the perception. That is why you need the wisdom. So when you practice vipassana, what is happening to your mind? It develop your mental capacity open, more bigger, 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 bigger. As example. The person who ever don't practice meditation, we cannot, but the, we just say as a, that a practice point of, point of view, if the person don't practice the meditation, if, the, if the, his point of view is like this, when you practice the vipassana, what is happening? You open it, open it. And then, when you see something, you able to recognize how this come to be as disease. That will help you to deconstruct that what you see. So like that, when it come to inhalation, exhalation, in the vipassana level, observing inhalation, exhalation doesn't make any sense. It is still going to become a kind of like a the conventional level of practice. So that's why then remember always in the Samatha level you practice it, you calm down but when it comes to Vipassana level and try to see when the inhalation accelerated, when it appears as a form and see how it became like that. So what is happening with it and the feelings arise. Just recognizing feeling doesn't work and see what is the behavior of the feelings, what, what happened to that feelings and how the feelings come to that. See that. Sensation if you see, formation if you see, even yourself, that uh, if you able to see how the, the mind appear with the inhalation, exhalation, just see what happening to it. That is where you are going to recognize and experience it and recognize its own nature. That will lead you to understand what it is. Otherwise, just observing, just knowingly take as a feeling, it doesn't make any sense. It's going to be as a feeling for you. Take as a form, it's going to become a form for you. So then yourself, when it comes to Vipassana level, remember, see what is happening to it. So that is where you open the gate. That is where you take out the hindrance. So remember, 
form, feeling, sensation, formations, consciousness. Just seeing it doesn't make any change because it's already there. Just seeing yourself, it's not going to go away. Once you see it, listen this very carefully and take it correctly. Once you see it and see how it changes and, and recognize the change, go into the change. And once you see how the feelings change, that is where you're not going to, to not stuck with the, the feelings. Otherwise, feelings always going to happen. Feelings always going to happen. Even that, uh, well, if you, even you attain to enlightenment and the certain kind of, not always, all the time, but certain feelings going to happen. As example, the formation is going to happen. Once you attain to enlightenment, that doesn't mean when it is appear in front of you, this as a pen, of course, it's going to become a pen for you. Because you attain to enlightenment, you're not going to see this as something else. So then, just imagine this is a beautiful flower. It's going to become a beautiful flower for you. It appear in front of you like this. But when the feelings arise, and you see it itself change, and then you're not clinging to that feelings. Then once you're not clinging to that feelings, in that feelings, there is no the desire based thoughts or the, the chanda raga. So that's why the everything will happen, but still in deeper, no grasping, holding, thinking, this is good or this is bad like that. Why? Because you see it change. So then if you if you see the the form, feeling, sensation, formations, consciousness, remember that doesn't mean that you're done. That is the beginning. Once you see it, you have to go into it and see how the, the feelings change and how the, the form change, how the sensation change. Once you see the change, and you stay again and again and again and again with it. And then you will see where are you going to end. So let's practice a little bit. Your right palm on your left. And neck get straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. And scan head to toes three times yourself and say Supatveva. Oh, may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation. So in the beginning, bring your attention to the lower part of your body. And observe the sensation.
and recognize energy. Feelings, tightness, heaviness, heat, contact with the cushion or the seat. Just get a mental note. and your lower back. So don't interfere with the feelings, just allow it to happen itself. your upper back and shoulders. Arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. Your chest and abdominal area. and your neck and head. and your whole body and feel your whole body as one and observe head to toes and bring attention in front of your nose and your upper lip area Deeply and gently breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalation, exhalation to happen itself.
and recognize inhalation as inhalation, exhalation as exhalation. Recognize this is rising, this is falling. And follow the entire continuation of the inhalation and exhalation. See how the inhalation exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold itself.
So drop all the, the details, go with inhalation, exhalation, just get into the, the feelings arise followed by the inhalation, exhalation. And see how it change.
bring your attention to your body. And observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light. Through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. And as far as we can through galaxies, other planets, stars, Reminding yourself like this. Mentally repeat after me. With clear intention. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Send it as a light. Visualize yourself, send it as far as you can. So every day, remember yourself little by little, little bit, expand the, the capacity.
to your back side. to your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it, with the maximum effort to the highest. Si sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma friends, when it, uh, when we look at the, the history of Buddha's teaching and especially when it come to Western countries, so that is where we are today. And uh, when it came to Western countries, and we see that uh, how it get influenced by the, the Western culture. So then it's kind of like, because uh, the mostly when you look like uh, the, like uh, 17, 1970, 1980, so like that period, this self-motivational books became more familiar and uh, mostly this self-motivational method came to world. It's like, uh, it is a kind of like uh, the culture in, in, in the Western countries and achieve to something, gaining something. So then when it, 
when the Bud Buddhism came to Western countries, and you see that uh, what happened that the main the the culture start to slowly that overtake and transform these teachings to 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 it origin it it ideas that whatever used to be here, but the very nature of the Buddha's teaching is completely different. So that's why it is better you understand. So what happened in the society? So in the Buddha's teaching, there is no idea to gain something. So as example, even though that uh, we, as uh, as a practice point of view, we we give we use some word as a some example self or the spirit. Actually, in, in Buddhism, and we we don't deeply go into spirit we don't we don't give that much uh, that uh, credit for spirit and also it is uh, not kind of like a self motivation to gain something so it always to release ourselves is the the path in the, in the buddha teaching that is the, the the ultimate destination is releasing everything it doesn't matter in the beginning you release all the improfitable skills and then later that uh, all you you releasing the the whatever the bad actions and then later what happening once you purify when you completely become white and then you release that also that is where you get into the the nibbana so somehow in this journey that uh, where we are today we mostly kind of like uh, like to gain so when you have the gaining idea itself it become naturally self centered because you are the one who gaining you so with that the main main purpose of the buddha's teaching slowly going different way but our our purpose is not to not to point out or put a label this is right this is wrong this is they, they did wrong thing this person did right. no we are not going to to analyze anything this is right or this is wrong but we have to understand where we are today so what we have to do so whatever we have to accept today and then we have to see from here how we can get the best out of the situation rather than resisting it rather than fighting with because even to get into that kind of fight or re rejection or the resistance then you wasting your time so then it better even our whole sansara journey is like that so because we we come with the we, we come with the desires we come with the greed hatred and the delusion and the, it doesn't matter sometimes the things will feel like nice and good and sometimes ugly and hard but somehow we appear like this we all are in this sansara because of the greed hatred and the delusion so you cannot fight with it this fighting idea not in buddhism conquering idea not is not in buddhism so then where we have to start so now because everybody look for a purpose it is a very famous very very you know marketing word purpose purpose have a purpose have a, even ourselves we always you know especially when we talk to children we push them have a purpose have a purpose but when you become you know conventionally in, for a conventional life you have to have a purpose and uh, it can maybe based with the 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 material and it can maybe based with the emotions or whatever but when it come to vipassana level if you look very carefully what is your purpose so when it come to 
that uh, the vipassana level the very purpose if you look very carefully so you see that all even this that all the idea come with this in conventional life also the deeply inherent with that that idea that purpose what is that purpose from morning to night everybody doing this everything even that we have idea to become successful become a millionaire become rich or it is good nothing wrong with you have to be like that if you can do that because then you can you can do something better so sometimes if you don't become like that then somebody else become then the because the world behave according to that way then how about the bad guy become rich better than the the good guy then the the world going to become you know so that's why if you can become rich and if you can become a millionaire if you can become investor entrepreneur if you can become kind of a that the good person even to become a president you know that is good go for go for it but at the same time when it come to vipassana level what is the real purpose of life if you look very carefully it is get out of the suffering look if you look morning to night whatever you do even you have idea to become somebody to do something mostly even naturally when you even you lying down you sleeping you deep sleep even if your body kind of like hurt itself because of the posture the body consciously and itself even though that you don't think like that you know unconsciously what is happening the, this muscle memory start to adjust the body to find the comfort that mean get out of the 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 suffering so like that in day to day life this whatever we do even though it has a, the outside layer looking for happiness more than look for happiness if you look very carefully you have a deeper intense intention to get out of the suffering so that is a beautiful that is a beautiful gift that we have so then that's why this everybody like to become a millionaire having a higher purpose in life and become a better person become rich you know this all that is a good that the source that we have if you find it and maybe somebody cannot find it but still it can help for them to 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 divert it to the the wisdom or the nibban because your purpose is in the, the, even though you like to become happy you know enjoy life but remember deeply you have each and every even the animal all the animals all the living being have this nature what is that nature get out of the suffering knowingly or unknowingly maybe they don't they don't practice uh, that uh, that the four noble truth eight pole path in the different different ways maybe they go with the wrong way but some they have deeply they want to get out of the suffering so that is that is where we are so then we have to use okay we have to have a purpose and so without having a purpose life is not good you have to have a higher goal so like that then keep that goal what is that get out of the suffering so for that then you have to look once you have it and sometimes you see in your life why this happened to me why i am here like this why i am suffering like this way so once you have once you set up the goal to get out of the suffering because everybody say you have to have a purpose so keep that purpose and then you have to look why i am why i am suffering like this how i how i came to this kind of suffering then you little by little go deeper to understand that's cause and effect 
and then maybe you get into the theory of the karma and uh, then the, the, the power of the mind. So then you recognize the soul. And that will slowly get in, lead you to the, the path of the, the wisdom. So then that's why, because rather than telling things wrong, so we have to be, it's kind of like a, becoming smart in a, in a way, you know, that we use the word smart, that, that doesn't mean that uh, you're going to be really smart, but we all are ignorant in ignorance, but still in that ignorance, we use the word smart just to, you know, to give a push a little bit to ourselves. That's what. So then once you get into that, there are, that you know, there are hindrance within ourselves. And mainly five hindrances: Kama, Chanda, Vyapada, Tinamita, Uddacha, Kukucha, Vichikicha. The desire, self-centered desires, that uh, anger and uh, sloth and thoth, and uh, this all the comparison and everything, laziness, doubt, this all. So those are hindrances in the journey. But also, there are certain things when it comes to practice meditation, even not some kind of other meditations, especially in the Samatha and Vipassana. There are certain things that you have to be very careful. So today I put the, on, the, on the Facebook, I put the topic, you know, why do we love sandwich you know, that's the topic today so the reason is this when it come to meditate especially this is mostly if you practice meditation especially if you are interested regarding the vipassana so we are little by little you know directing ourselves to the 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 real path that because that is necessary we don't need to go here and there so then when it comes to meditation, life deeply, if you see, we have we have hindrance, and at the same time, we have some other nature. What is one thing? This people, you know, the people, we 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 are the people, you know, the people like put things together. If you look very carefully, they're crazy to do that. That's why people like sandwiches. You know, burger, they, sometimes people fly from other countries that uh, they are in New York. They are a place, you know, the burger they build and putting, you know, many, many things, you know, this much bigger, bigger, bigger burgers. And people, you know, fly from other countries to eat that. There's nothing, you know, something that is special. No, they, they, they put things together. Hot dog, you know, just the bun is not enough, you know. They put things together. And when the people who like to cook, you know, see that when they like, they like to put things together. So that is, a, that is a nature inside us. So this constructive nature, you slowly have to observe in even in day-to-day -day life, you know, with things. Always we like to Rather than keep something simple, we have deeper nature. I don't know from where it's coming, but still, everybody, like when you put something next to it, we don't like to keep it kind of like empty alone. So you have to catch that nature. And then you have to slowly get out of it. You will see it going to you will see how beautiful it going to experience you going to you going to experience it if you're able to get it you know rather than because people the very nature of the even you know see how when they cook even you make a cake it, if it is just the cake it no how about you put the ice in and then you put a little bit of fruit on it or the maybe chocolate chip on it, then it become kind of, you say, come like, oh, wow, even the ice cream. You know, just look how that, you know, they, they like to put 
things together and uh, this uh, this uh, uh, that uh, there are places when you go like uh, you know why people like to eat salad look they like to they like to put things together so that's the nature we think i was even you know that uh, even ourselves when you when you wear a piece of you know the your garment when you get ready with that you know it's a kind of like uh, you know something is uh, when you put things more 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 things it people this like a beautiful like when you go to temple you know mostly you just completely be wearing white nothing you know no not not like that so but mostly when you when you people go to parties you know like uh, when it come to sarees indian you know sarees it is uh, it's crazy all over the world women go crazy for indian sarees why because it put things together many 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 things oh it give wow so say it like that even the you know they they polish you know they polish the nails and they put the the colors and just that not enough for them keep clean it not enough they put then little you know this uh, design then it come kind of low. wow so like that everywhere you see everywhere we have we go crazy to put things together and so what you have to do just try to separate separately experience something so don't think that it's you know the meditation it's only just closing eyes sitting you know unmovable no it's not like that even you know when you eat something without mixing a lot of things like uh, like vegetable you 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 know boil little bit vegetable one vegetable and just eat that only that it's going to cure hunger but more than cure hunger it it's become something it's challenging you so there are times came you know uh, uh, there there were times in the history when the people didn't have in, uh, to eat anything that much like today you know just on three leaves they boil it little bit and they just eat it but still you know they was okay so like that it's nothing to do with the hunger so what you eat or what you you do so then try to maybe it is difficult for you even just thinking about it it going to make you depressed no no just try little by little mentally at least have kind of like have idea so then you will see it will help deeply it will help a lot for your meditation practice why the, the very nature of the world is putting things together putting things together constructing building 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 and it's kind of like uh, you know people people be, like to be like that way they cannot they cannot become even the, the, the see the, the body itself they cannot keep they want to put a tattoo on it you know so uh, that, that that's that's how they become like that they they feel something then you know so then slowly remember that yourself to get out of this putting things together and uh, this deconstruction it uh, it, it kind of like uh, because the the we have nature that uh, in vipassana level it's complete you have to rather than gaining things you completely removing things that is where we go that is where you going to get out of the suffering illumination so you get out completely get out of things and then you deconstruct and deconstruct and also you destroy something which cannot get it back so that is the desire you destroy your desire 
you eliminate your desire which it cannot get it back to something so when you go that way rather than putting things together releasing going to help for you so that is one thing and another thing is another mistake especially when it come to vipassana and the, the samatha also they, that it it some some people have this they have the idea and we we just say it uh, because as monks we you know conventionally we use words supreme bliss then the people think oh the nibbana is something or oh, supreme it's a marvelous it's a it's the complete happy place so like that you give kind of like a the the great and supreme so when you think like that way that you have the idea of that as i mentioned in the in the in the, in the early ages in the western countries they had the idea to achieve to something so this all the words we have today with that influence so the supreme bliss of nibbana or the when you think about the supreme bliss of the nibbana the itself the when it becomes supreme listen this very carefully when it becomes supreme it cannot be nibbana but we use that word and the it's a, because you have the 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 dualistic mind to understand the supreme otherwise you cannot understand supreme so and the bliss so when it come to supreme it's the supreme if higher and it cannot become nibbana so then itself we have a idea we have to get out of this all and it's we going to become kind of like it's kind of like the same the same mentality kind of like uh, having a super power dictator you going to dictate the sansara i'm achieving to the supreme power so that is a mistake that we do so but the thing is in the beginning we have to use that words but to, because to understand it deeply is kind of like you have to you have to come to a place on the way otherwise we cannot talk like this because just for the beginner if we talk like this way no we are in the beginning we have to you know the bless them oh achieve to supreme bliss of nibbana then he start to look for supreme bliss and then on the way okay then practice meditation and then he he practice meditation and, and on the way then we have to tell now you have to if you want to get the nibbana drop that supreme part so like that hmm? it's a part by part like uh, how the parents you know uh, that the feeding to children sometimes and maybe you have to teach that the feed them telling something which is not uh, you know it's going to be not make sense yeah. so same thing happen in in the dhamma also so and other thing is that we have that uh, deeper inherent nature we like to go with wrong views so that we have the right view and at the same time you have to be very careful to know that we have inherent nature to love for wrong views so it's a it's a kind of like the it's a kind of like uh, you know in the world when we look at the world it always in the the it always happening so then ourselves it's it that the world in nature but ourselves we have to understand how we can get out of it so then yourself if you if you look for get out of the suffering remember never go with any wrong view that wrong view means not others once you know it is a wrong view get out of it 
at least you know it say it say like this if you cannot do you know if you cannot do the good at least you know let it be as good so like that if you if you cannot you know go go if you cannot that go with the right view it is okay for the moment because sometimes everybody cannot go with it so then we have to we have to accept and you maybe you have to go certain you know the journey yourself to understand but if you cannot go with it at least don't destroy it so like that maybe you, if you cannot go with the right view at least just let it be as a right view maybe we are in the wrong view so maybe we going wrong view the mostly what we does once we go with the wrong view and we destroy the right view don't do it so just let it be so you see they you know there are in the world there are some people you know that once they start to come to the certain ideas they destroy whatever the the right things why you destroy the right things even the in the ancient times you know and uh, sometimes dictators they came to world and once they get into the power the very first thing they did burn the libraries burn destroy the books in the history you say there are some kings they conquer the, the the sri lanka and the right away what they did they burn all the dhamma books and even in india nalanda the the like the universities once they conquer they burn all the universities they destroy all the books see that we love the wrong view and the, the other thing is we love the wrong view we destroy the the right view so that is the world in nature even deeply sometimes ourselves also you know around us we see in day to day life maybe just just think a little plant maybe you don't like it just let it be at least just let it be maybe you don't like it it is okay it is it is up to you but you don't like doesn't mean you have to destroy it so like when it come to dhamma that we like the wrong view the the wrong thing with that is once we go with it we destroy the right view no and in day to day life maybe as a husband wife children friend you know parents maybe you patris something else but that doesn't mean if other person go with the something and he should be like this no even sometimes that uh, that they say oh we are the right and you are the the, the wrong so everybody think according to their views they are right so but when it come to yourself how you analyze what is right or wrong so look yourself is it good for you and good for others very simple if it is good for you and good for others if it is not based with the greed hatred and the delusion go for it nothing wrong going to happen but if it is not good for you maybe it is good for others and maybe it is good for that you are not good for others or if it is good for others and not good for you or maybe it is related to the greed hatred and the delusion then don't do anything with your bodily verbally or mentally action why because the result going to be something hard so when it come to the right view or the wrong view just whatever you just look like that way and if it is so but if it is still you want to do maybe knowingly it is wrong we like to do that is what that is what this nature 
knowingly this is wrong, people like to do things. So we have to get out of it slowly. So how? Once you, once you see inside yourself, even when you're talking, that uh, there is a conversation go, if you feel like if you say, you know, the kind of like a funny thing, they will laugh and it is a good time to tell something funny. And maybe you keep creating yourself to tell something and which is not true. So, and what, while it creating yourself, you know, you're going to tell lie. So right away, don't do it. Just pause it. Stop it. So that knowingly you tell it is lying and telling lies is the going with the wrong views. You love the wrong views. You know it is telling lies is not good and you know you create the lies and still you did it. So there is a there is an energy that with that. So get out of it. How? Once you see something inside you, if you know it is not right, don't do it. Don't do it. Whatever, even just yourself. Even with something. You may be no one around you. No one see that. But yourself, if you know, why? Even just thinking yourself, why do you have to think this way? Just stop it. Don't keep doing that way. So those are the three things, especially when it comes to meditation. So getting to that three things, little bit, it takes time. But still it's worth, little by little, little by little. You know, you have to be, be matured with, the, with the, the path also. So the first one, that uh, don't keep that, the, you know, the sandwich mind. You know, get out of it, little by little. Yeah? And it, it, it is good for children, you know. And uh, even when it comes to techniques, you know, people like to practice many, many techniques. No, no. Keep with something, you know. Keep with something and focus to that. And stay relaxed and calm. And don't have the gaining mentality, supreme, achieving to something higher, achieving something to better. No. Because why? It is already inherent inside you. You don't see it. So that's why don't, don't have that kind of nature release. And other things don't love the wrong views. And slowly, little by little, little by little, get out of it. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good Patrice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbit yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavartantara yo suki diga yuko bhava. Itta vata cha ami hi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva nu modantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe bhuta. Anumodantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe sata anumodantu sabba sampati siddhiya idami punya kamman asavakaya vahan hotu sabba dukkha pamun chatu. Bless you.